and today we're having Thom Yum Ramen with baby bok choy, cilantro, and spicy California roll with seaweed salad in the middle. So grab your spoons, grab your forks, or grab your chopsticks, and let's get started. Let's take a first bite. So I want to tell you guys that I just ordered a mic because I realized that my audio is not that great and it's catching all the sounds behind me. So hopefully by tomorrow it'll arrive. Mmm. So today I want to talk about the people that you think you know, but that you don't really know. Or I guess more so the people that you used to know and some scary things they've done. So, in elementary school, specifically kindergarten, there was this kid in my class who always picked on me. Was a complete bully. And in my last video, I told you that I wasn't born in the United States. I came here when I was two, so when I started school, I didn't know English. I had to be in ESL class for a year or two so I could learn English. And this was my kindergarten year, or my year of kindergarten. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Mm. And I remember one instance in kindergarten where the teacher caught him and another student, a female student, underneath the table doing weird things and I just remember thinking to myself that he gave me really bad vibes okay so we never became friends but my high school wasn't that big so we still knew who each other were And I do remember in high school he did apologize to me because he was such a bully when he was younger and was so mean to me. And I thought it was kind of weird. But I accepted his apology, but I never became his friend. Anyway, fast forward a couple years ago, I think it was in 2017 or 2018. I'll put a link in my description below 
to an article about him and what happened and that'll give you the correct date of when it occurred. Anyway, I find out that not only was he being tried for murder, but he had dismembered the body of his female friend in the basement of the house he lived in. And his dad, who was an ex-police officer, helped him cover it up. How disgusting is that? When I found that out, I was completely shocked. I mean, who wouldn't be when you find out something like that? And it's somebody that you used to go to school with. I mean, I know we weren't close or anything, but still, it's creepy, don't you think? It's almost scary that you don't know what people are really capable of. And thank God I trusted my gut about getting bad vibes from him because can you imagine? I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, on to my second story. And this was somebody that I knew more recently than just somebody I went to school with. He actually was my friend. So when I lived in Atlanta in 2012, 13, and a little bit of 14, I lived alone, so I made friends outside of work and my really good friend, she was seeing this guy and this guy had a friend. And all four of us would hang out. I never dated him, I never did anything with him. But I do know that he did kind of have feelings for me. He never ever confessed to them, but with those kind of things, I feel like you just know. It's just the vibe that people give off and the vibe that you get. So, I hung out with him a lot, between the four of us. I mean, we just always had fun together, always did stuff. And he was just super nice, sweet guy. But then, I moved away to Florida and to Texas. And one day my friend sends me this article about him being in jail. I guess he met some girl. They started doing drugs together, specifically meth, I think. And they got pregnant, had a baby, got married, and bought a house together and I don't know if they still were doing drugs, but 
it appeared to be that way. And I guess he held his wife and baby hostage in their house and tortured her. And she barely survived which is so sad and so scary. And I feel so sad for her, their baby. <laughs> because I would like to think that I knew him pretty well. I mean, we hung out almost every day for over a year. So, throughout that time, he never, ever, 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 not even close, displayed any type of behavior that would be any hint towards something crazy like that. So I was extremely shocked. You don't really know somebody as well as you may think you do. which is a really, really scary thought because that's what I imagine happens. Like you don't, you don't think somebody's capable of something and they are your spouse and they end up killing you. I mean, that is so scary. I just, it makes me so sad. I can just, just can never imagine that's just the ultimate feeling of betrayal, I think. you took into consideration my two stories today and definitely learned to trust your gut I don't really know if you truly know somebody but I hope at the end of the day you don't get in a situation as the people that I've talked about because that's just really scary and also, if you have something similar to share, please comment down below. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Until next time, see you later.